PTA awards program offers recognition to local units and county councils for PTA achievement. We're so happy to have all of you here for our 2020 award celebration. Many of the awards correlate with the national PTA standards for family school partnership, which empowers PTA to implement programs and policies that strengthen the family school connection, educate our communities about the benefits of involvement and the impact of this investment in our children. Recognizing these programs serves to encourage and motivate your PTA best practices, teamwork, and leadership, as well as inspire your PTA with some new ideas to reach even more members. I'd like to congratulate all of the award recipients and thank you for your hard work and your support of families and children across Florida. Your examples will serve to inspire others to create programs and services to affect children everywhere. Thank you so much. And again, congratulations. Katie? I Hi, everybody. We understand that you might not be able to hear Katie right now. So just give us a second. We're going to get her teed up and get on with the celebration. We'll be right back. Thank you, Madam President. 
and thanks to all of you who are joining us this morning to celebrate PTA achievement. With the PTA mission in mind, let's get started. Our first award is the Advocacy Award for programs supporting activities and laws that advocate for children. And our first winner, Sunny Isles Beach PTSA in Miami-Dade County. Sunny Isles puts child advocacy into practice through regular attendance at school board and local council meetings, in addition to meetings with state legislators. Students also attend meetings and requested support for their recycling program. They recognized the opportunity to share their voice and their influence when unified for a cause. Congratulations. And our next winner, University High School PTSA in Orange County. The PTSA at University High School regularly shares legislative information with members and encourages advocacy. This included an opportunity to join the Rally in Tally. The experience broadened their understanding of the work of legislators and activities within the Florida State House during session. Students expressed an interest in continuing to serve their communities in the future. Congratulations, University High School PTSA. And congratulations to Hillsborough County Council PTA. The County Council continued their advocacy efforts in support of increased school impact fees. The Board of Commissioners responded and doubled fees on new construction in this fast growing community to support school needs. The Council was selected to speak about school funding at National PTA Convention. They were also awarded a grant that encourages census related messaging. Hillsborough County Council continues to affirm the relevance of PTA advocacy in Hillsborough County. Congratulations to these PTA advocates. Our next award, the Humanitarian Award for programs that focus on service to your community and beyond. And our first winner, Thompson Elementary PTA in Hillsborough County, who hosted a community resource fair, bringing together school families and the community for a free program with the purpose of sharing local resources, including the library and tutoring services, health insurance and social service counselors, after school programs and more. They collaborated with community partners for additional program activities. Congratulations. And congratulations to Tech High School PTSA in Pinellas County. A place to sleep was a day of service at the school, which helped to give students a better understanding of others in their community. The students built 40 bunk beds for a local nonprofit, Sleep in Heavenly Peace, that supports those in need. Bedding donations were also collected to complete the project, which helped students understand and respond to homelessness around them. Congratulations. And congratulations to Duval County Council with the Duval PTAs Have a Heart Initiative, which brought together local units and the County Council to focus on the many needs in the community. Together, they chose a different organization to support each month, including the Youth Crisis Center, the Giving Closet, and more. The effort highlighted the connection between PTA and the local community and highlighted the relationship between County Council PTA and the local PTAs. Congratulations to these award winners. Our next award, Mentor PTA Award, recognizes those units who assist another PTA with training, leadership, and financial support. Our first winner, Crystal Lake Elementary PTA in Seminole County. Crystal Lake Elementary focuses on inclusion of all students, including those with special needs. With that, they included support of UCP Seminole PTA in their budget and planned for shared experiences. They supported UCP with volunteers and invited UCP parents and students to the Crystal Lake Elementary PTA programs throughout the year. Congratulations. And congratulations to Crystal Lake Middle School PTSA in Broward County. 
Crystal Lake Middle School PTSA was able to support new leadership at Margate Middle School PTSA throughout the year during meetings and elections, membership opportunities, resource development and training opportunities. Margate PTSA is now in compliance with increased membership and raised funds for PTSA activities. Congratulations to these PTA mentors and thank you for your mentorship. Our next award, the Safety Award for programs promoting student safety. And our first award winner, Apollo Beach Elementary School PTA in Hillsborough County. Apollo Beach showed great strides in implementing safety programs at their school. They brought in a guest speaker to discuss kindness, good character, and mental health issues. They discussed bullying, big feelings, and internet safety. They furthered the program through a meeting with parents offering dinner and babysitting to learn how to discuss these issues with their children. Apollo Beach Elementary PTA made safety a focus of other programming throughout the year. Congratulations. And congratulations to Coral Gables Senior High School PTSA in Miami-Dade County. Coral Gables Senior High PTSA showed their focus on safety by seeking grants and inviting guest speakers to discuss important issues, including suicide risk, firearm violence, and the health of their communities. The PTSA distributed newsletters addressing sex trafficking to help educate students of the danger. They reinforced these issues and resources in social media throughout the year. And congratulations to Hillsborough County Council PTA. To ensure that their children were safe on social media, the County Council had a program in English and Spanish to educate parents on TikTok. They had a student panel to help parents gain insight and student and hear student concerns a spokesperson to discuss internet safety and best practices and a TikTok influencer to discuss their own experiences at the end of the program families were encouraged to sign an internet safety agreement congratulations to these safety award winners Special Needs Students with Unique Abilities is a new award this year. Congratulations to Crystal Lake Elementary PTA in Seminole County. Crystal Lake Elementary PTA has developed many programs with special needs students in mind, including a sensory room during STEM night, a sensory trunk or treat hour with blue pumpkins indicating sensory and allergen free treats, and a special tea connection designed for parents to learn about available resources. Adopted PTA, UCP Seminole, parents and students are invited to attend these programs. Congratulations. And congratulations to Atlantic Coast High School PTSA in Duval County. Atlantic Coast High is an inclusive facility and PTSA promotes interaction with all students. The PTSA donated funds to the Rays of Hope Valentine's Day dance and special needs students from Atlantic Coast High School were able to attend the dance. Congratulations to these winners of the Special Needs Students with Unique Abilities Award. Hi, I am Jude Bruno, Florida PTA Student Engagement Chair. Today, I will be presenting the award for Student Advocate to Gianna Alman from West Broward High School PTSA in Broward County. Gianna Alman, a junior and SGA officer at West Broward High School, developed and led a project titled Capes for Kids. She brought t-shirts and cut them into capes for pediatric patients in a local hospital. She is an advocate for students and joined PTA to rally and tally where she advocated a, to fix certain issues in our school system, such as the need for more guidance counselors in our schools. Furthermore, she is now the student advisor to the Broward County School Board representing the students 
for the sixth largest school district in the country and the second largest here in the state of Florida. Let us congratulate Gianna Alman from West Brown High School PTSA. And from one student advisor to another, I wish you the best of luck. I would like to present our Student Community Service Award to Citrus Grove Elementary PTA in Volusia County. Student members of the K Kids After School Service Club worked alongside their parents and Citrus Grove staff to distribute blessing bags and serve a meal to community members at the Dillon Interface Kitchen. Students participated in fundraising for the necessary food items for the meal. They helped to collect toiletries and self-care items and assemble them into blessing bags along with an encouraging note for each guest. Students assisted with setup, serving food and refilling drinks and cleaned up and received lots of appreciations from guests and from the Interfaith Kitchen Manager. It is in times like these where we have to appreciate the simplicity and the gestures that we make to mankind. So let's be sure to congratulate Citrus Grove Elementary PTA, our Student Community Service Award recipient. We'll also like to recognize West Boca Raton High School PTSA in Palm Beach County. Students adopted a Title I elementary school and were matched with a fourth grade class to focus on activities in support of literacy. Students read books, wrote letters with pen pals, and designed a literacy center within the classroom. With a pizza fundraiser, the students were able to purchase beanbag chairs, carpet squares, a book rack, and books. Other activities with a literacy focus included a holiday literacy morning, a mural painting, and an elementary visit to the high school class for a day of space-related activities. All students gained an appreciation for the importance of literacy, and we all know in PTA, reading is fundamental, so let's give a round of applause to West Boca Raton High School PTSA. Our Student Involvement Award goes to Boca Raton Community High School, PTSA, also in Palm Beach County. The PTSA is committed to providing opportunities for students to volunteer and to develop leadership and team building skills. There are student leaders within the PTSA structure who met regularly to plan student activities, speakers, and ideas for future meetings. Student leaders help plan and participate in back-to-school activities, teacher appreciation events, college fair, auction fundraiser, and membership activities. Student membership increased by 19% this year. Student members, students nominated and elected their student PTSA leaders and share the benefit of PTSA in their section of the newsletter and in social media. This student involvement adds to the overall success of PTSA and that should be commended. I would like to thank you for being with me for the student awards and let's be sure to give a round of applause to Boca Raton Community High School PTSA, West Boca Raton High School PTSA, Citrus Grove Elementary PTA, and Gianna Alman from West Broward High School PTSA. I'm G. Bruno, your Florida PTA Student Engagement Chair. Good morning, I'm Robin DeVault, your Scholarship Chair. I'm here to announce the Florida PTA Student Scholarship Award winners. Christopher Cash, Miami-Dade County, Vocational Technical Candidate. Brooke Godiff, Broward County, University Candidate. Sydney Levy, Palm Beach County, University Candidate. Emma Moisa, Miami-Dade County. 
recipient of the Kathy Lasky Memorial Scholarship. Amanda Nachman, Pinellas County, recipient of the Brian Dassler Memorial Scholarship. Bryce Nicholas, Pasco County, Community College candidate. Congratulations to all of our winners and we wish you all great success. Thank you. Our next program award, Friends of the Environment Award. Congratulations to Gulf Breeze Elementary PTA in Santa Rosa County. Gulf Breeze Elementary is eliminating plastic waste one bottle at a time, beginning with plastic water bottles. As students learn about the environmental impacts of plastics, the PTA collaborated with school administration and SAC to gain approval for water refill stations. They held a successful fundraiser and the stations will be installed while students and teachers are away from campus. Congratulations to Mast Academy PTSA in Miami-Dade County. Mast Academy hopes to become the first zero net energy and zero waste school in Florida by 2022. Students hope to align their STEM curriculum, environmental stewardship themes and school operations to create a healthier, cleaner and greener school. The PTSA Sustainability Committee collaborated with the community for program support. Green Champions oversee the recycling program and more. Communication includes the PTSA newsletter and a Green Champions WhatsApp chat. These activities combine to create a culture of environmental stewardship. And congratulations to Broward County Council PTA who collaborated with Comcast, NBC Universal, at Broward Big Brothers and Big Sisters in a day-long revitalization project at Dillard Elementary in Fort Lauderdale. Broward County Council members were among the 2,000 volunteers and the event focused on enhancing green spaces and garden areas, but also included painting murals and upgrading the play courts outside. This project had a positive impact on the students and on the environment. awards. Congratulations to Meadowbrook Elementary PTA in Alachua County. Meadowbrook Elementary developed three programs to support the media center and promote literacy this year. When Cookies for Your Class was a family reading program that encouraged families to read together and parents to read to their children. The families selected a series of books to read together and PTA purchased some additional copies. At the end of the semester, 12 winning classes enjoyed cookies and milk. They also planned a book swap program and the Everyone Reads program this spring, both of which had to be altered somewhat with the unexpected school closures. But in the end, Meadowbrook Elementary PTA sponsored the purchase of a book for each student. Congratulations, Palmetto Middle School PTSA in Miami-Dade County. The media center at Palmetto Middle is open every day from 8.30 to 11 a.m. and is run by PTSA volunteers. These volunteers assist students with computer-based learning, printing assignments, and checking out books. This year, they also coordinated the donation of some additional books, several new computers, and some additional furniture, making the media center more inviting. They hosted a literacy and arts night with workshops for students, complete with an open mic poetry reading. They had a free book station and students who attended were encouraged to take home one of the donated books. And congratulations to Pinellas County Council, which supports literacy of all children and a goal of encouraging reading on grade level. Board members attend local unit book fairs and assist when needed. They provide grants to vulnerable children for book purchases. The County Council in collaboration with Read Strong Pinellas provides literacy programs at local units. Resource and referrals for support services are provided to students and families and books are distributed. The council hosted a literacy festival and provides students and parents with training on the school district digital library service. They installed two little free libraries in target areas in the county. And during the unexpected school closures this spring, the county council continued to distribute books and literacy resources at various food distribution sites so children could continue to feed their minds. Congratulations to these literacy award winners.
Next is the newsletter award. The following units had excellent newsletters that included all the elements on the Florida PTA checklist, including messages from the PTA president, a calendar of events, report on membership, information from national, state, county, and local PTA, and a proper masthead that included the pertinent information needed by members. Congratulations go out to Sunset Lakes Elementary PTSA in Broward County, Boca Raton Community High School PTSA in Palm Beach County, and Duval County Council. Next, let's offer congratulations to our outstanding administrators of the year as nominated by their PTAs. Without them, we wouldn't be able to do what we do in the schools. So congratulations first to Mr. Brian Hamilton, principal at Devonair K-8 Center, Miami-Dade County. Mr. Hamilton is described as having commitment, leadership, and unwavering dedication. He shows continuous support for PTSA by attending meetings and including PTA leaders in team building activities. Congratulations, Mr. Hamilton. Next, congratulations to Martha Giancola, principal at Tech High School in Pinellas County. Ms. Giancola attends PTSA meetings and seeks PTSA input. She was supportive of School of Excellence activities and other PTSA programs throughout the year. Thank you and congratulations, Ms. Giancola. And congratulations to Jeff Eakins, superintendent this year in Hillsborough County. Mr. Eakins is a supporter of the PTA mission and county PTA leadership. He attends general meetings and events, includes a PTA voice in district decisions and encourages PTA participation. Congratulations, Mr. Eakins. And thank you again to these administrators for their support of PTA in their districts and in their schools. Hello, I'm Gamal Mack, your Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chair, and I'll be presenting the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Awards. Crystal Lake Elementary PTA, Seminole County. Events sponsored by PTA helped eliminate barriers from engaging, especially with families with special needs and Spanish-speaking families, and created a culture of celebrating diversity and inclusion. They focus on bilingual communication, translation available at all events, sensory room at STEM night, sensory friendly trunk or treat time, international coffee connection, specialty connection, and a multicultural night. This new program offers students to experience music, food, arts, crafts, and entertainment from around the world with passports and boarding passes. Coral Way K-8 Center PTA, Miami-Dade County. This PTA feels the responsibility of inclusion of their diverse community at this bilingual school. The board is representative for this largely minority population. Meetings and newsletters are bilingual and board members can communicate in five languages to be responsive to members' needs. The school conducted many programs and many collaborations. One of these collaborations led to, to the school being recognized as a 2020 School of the Year by the Spanish Embassy in the United States. Coral Gable Senior High School, PTSA, Miami-Dade County. This PTA responds to the needs of a diverse population of students from socioeconomics to language to learning abilities. Programs support all students including those in need of uniforms, resources for immigration issues, those in foster care and more. This year, they expanded the college and career fair to include a day for international colleges and universities to share opportunities with interested students, especially those whose first language is not English. Pendulous County Council. The County Council offered diversity, equity, and inclusion training quarterly to units and included information and leadership lessons in monthly newsletters. Programs include a hike along the African American Heritage Trail in Pinellas County and support of local Special Olympics with students pre-K through grade five with various exceptionalities. PTA leaders participated in reading groups with books focusing on anti-racism and equity and installed a little free library in a Latinx neighborhood 
with literature providing windows and mirrors. Hello, this is Naomi Frierson, your Florida PTA membership chair. I am thrilled to present this year's membership awards. This year's Membership Plus Award goes to Pinecrest Elementary PTA from Miami-Dade County. They showed an increase of 421 members. Our second winner is Dr. Phillips High School PTSA from Orange County with an increase of 724 members. Congratulations to our Membership Plus Award winners. Our next award is the President's Membership Award. Our first recipient is Sunny Isles Beach PTSA from Miami-Dade County. Sunny Isles Beach completed the Business of PTA and is a Local Achievement Award winner. They were also able to increase their membership by 200 members. Our second recipient is Julia Landon College Preparatory PTSA from Duval County. Julia Landon accomplished so much this year and is also a local unit achievement winner. They saw an increase of 116 members. Congratulations, President's Membership Award winners. And now for what is possibly the most coveted of all of the membership awards, the Regents Cup. The Regents Cup is awarded to the Florida PTA region who shows the most growth by percentage in membership. This year's winner is Region 2. Region 2 is led by Joe Pecora and comprises Dixie, Franklin, Gadsden, Gilcrest, Jefferson, Lafayette, Leon, Liberty, Madison, Swanee, Taylor, and Wakula counties. Joe, congratulations to you and the local units you represent for making a difference in membership this year. Our next awards are the Local Unit Achievement Awards for those PTAs who achieve success through setting goals and following through as a board with basic procedures. Our first winner, Crystal Lake Elementary PTA in Seminole County. This PTA met all compliance requirements for PTA. Board members attended training and reviewed their resources. They held required general meetings, increased their membership this year, and communicated with members through a variety of platforms and languages. They held successful programs throughout the year and a day of service at Tools for Seminole Schools, Seminole County Foundation Teacher Student Supply Store. They followed through with all those required procedures and made an impact in their school community. Our next winner, Stanton College Preparatory School PTSA in Duval County. This PTSA participated in board activities and completed those essential compliance requirements for our association. Board members reviewed resources and kept those policies and procedures handy. The PTSA focus included community outreach along with events on campus, including sharing mental and emotional health education for students and families during Wellness Wednesdays. Their service project, the biannual campus cleanup, achieved a beautiful and positive school environment. The President's Local Unit Achievement Award is next. It is selected from the applicants for the Local Unit Achievement Award. And our first winner, Sunny Isles Beach PTSA in Miami-Dade County. Sunny Isles guaranteed the completion of requir uh, compliance requirements and members attended training events and had access to all the policies and procedures as resources. The PTSA held required general meetings, actively communicated with its membership through several formats and increased membership this year. Their programs this past year included safety nights, 
and providing assistance to the community through food distribution, including a drive-through family picnic during this pandemic. Our next winner, Boca Raton Community High School PTSA in Palm Beach County. The PTSA participated in several board activities and completed essential compliance requirements. Board members were provided with resources and kept those policies and procedures handy. They conducted an end of the year transition meeting ensuring a smooth changeover of officers. They also communicated regularly with members and increased their total membership this year. Their service projects focused on programs to help the student body, including the homecoming closet, uh, anti-bullying program, and the most successful program, the PTSA College and Career Fair, an event that provides all the resources to help empower students to collaborate with their parents in pursuit of their dreams. Congratulations. Our next award is the Local Unit Program Award, awarded for programs that support the PTA mission and can be duplicated with best practices. Our first winner, Orange Grove Elementary PTA in Pinellas County. Orange Grove PTA hosted a Grandparents' Day luncheon in celebration of National Grandparents' Day, increasing the bonds between students and their grandparents and other family members. It's also an opportunity to increase PTA membership and participation this annual event is a favorite that's anticipated every year. Our next winning program, Haggerty High School PTSA in Seminole County. The PTSA supported a family mental health program this year to educate students, parents, and staff about mental health well-being and issues related to teens. The PTSA sought grant funding and collaborated with mental health and social service professionals to present the Mental Health Night with workshops for families. Their goals were to raise awareness about issues and resources, all to improve the mental wellness climate of the school community. Positive messaging was added to all social media platforms and efforts to increase stress during testing were included. Congratulations. Our next winner, Pasco County Council. Pasco County Council collaborated with the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention during Suicide Awareness Week in September with an informative program that was open for all, but directed toward middle and high school students and their families. They collaborated with community partners and promoted activities all week to increase awareness of suicide even in wearing purple in support of suicide awareness. Congratulations, Pasco County Council. Our next award is the President's Program Award, which is selected from the applicants for the Program Award. And our first winner, Sunny Isles Beach PTSA in Miami-Dade County. This PTA responded to the needs of the community by planning and implementing a drive-through picnic. As schools and businesses closed this spring due to COVID-19, they recognized this opportunity to bring school and community together, even within limitations. Their team collaborated with school administrators and community partners to use the school facilities to cook, bag, and distribute 700 meals with handwritten notes to students and their families all enjoyed a nutritious meal and the social connection. Our next winner, Seminole High School PTSA in Seminole County. The PTSA is involved with the school's growing college and career center, which shares college and career information, scholarship information, essay writing tips, and resume building in a database available to students and their families. They also held a college and career night where students and families had the opportunity to ask questions and gather information. The PTSA assured that administrators and guidance counselors were available for support. This PTSA hopes to continue to grow this program. And our other winner, Hillsborough County Council PTA. Utilizing a PTA grant to promote the National PTA STEM initiative, the council held two STEM night events. 
These events were hosted within Title I schools and provided dinner for students and their families attending. They collaborated with Mathnasium and the Museum of Science and Industry. The event in English and Spanish included presentations, interacting with robots and other activities to promote learning opportunities even outside the classroom. The council has also used grant funds to purchase supplies and prepare a kit to share with local units who want to do a STEM program of their own. Congratulations to these program award winners. And our final award, the All Children Are Our Children Award. This is awarded for programs that best capture our president's vision for reaching underserved students. And our first winner, Sterling Park Elementary PTA in Seminole County. Sterling Park Elementary PTA works tirelessly in their pantry program. They extended it to include basic household items for students in need and their families. They use scholastic dollars to help these students purchase books at the book fairs. They enjoy lunch bunches together and play games, and this became the idea for the holiday donation to each family this year, board games. The PTA continues to collaborate with a local Girl Scout troop to make birthday bags for these students, complete with candles and a card. Our next winner, Palmetto Middle School PTSA in Miami-Dade County. The PTSA engages with underprivileged families and struggling students by providing family dinner and date night events at a local elementary school. During the event, in addition to dinner, they provided families with information in English and Spanish about tracking their child's academic progress. Furthermore, Palmetto Middle School PTSA offered free tutoring to these students to help fill that academic gap. And our final winner, Alachua County Council PTA. Alachua County Council demonstrates our children are our children. By collaborating with schools, family network of disabilities, the school district, and other organizations to advocate for children with special needs in Alachua County. They held workshops to assist parents in understanding the terminology used in district events and keeping binders to organize 504 plans and IEPs. They offer the workshops in English and in Spanish and are preparing for virtual events for those families. Alachua County Council PTA worked with their legislator to co-sponsor the Dyslexia Bill this year in Tallahassee, all in an effort to help special needs students reach their full potential. The awards program is a collaborative effort. Thank you to the following committees and their chairs for all that they have done to make these awards possible. Thank you, Awards Chair Katie Burris, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Chair Gamal Mack, Scholarship Chair Robin DeVault, Membership Chair Naomi Frierson, and Student Engagement Chair Jude Bruno. Thanks also to the following guest judges and past Florida PTA presidents. Cindy Gerhardt, Escambia County. Mindy Haas, Palm Beach County. Eileen Siegel, Miami-Dade County. Patty Hightower, Escambia County. And Latha Krishnire, Broward County. We'd like to extend a special thanks to the following people without whom this program would not be possible. Special thanks go out to Florida PTA's Executive Committee, Linda Kirshner, President, Jen Martinez, President-Elect, Carolyn Nelson Godert, Vice President for Leadership Development, Angie Gallo, Vice President for Educational Development, Maxine Lures, Vice President for Membership Development, Jessica Summers, Vice President for Regions and Councils, Karen Mazzola, Treasurer, Alvin Ganey, Secretary. We'd also like to thank Florida PTA's office staff, led by Jean Hovey, the Florida PTA Executive Director, Lisa Berger, Susan Kosarek, Ginger Flynn, and Jennifer Patterson. And finally, 
We could not forget the unforgettable contributions from Janet Lamoureux, the convention management chair, the incomparable Renee Grutman, Steve Burris, Ray DeVault, and Faith DeVault. Thanks to all of you for attending with us virtually today. We hope you're already thinking about some program planning and applying for scholarships and awards next year in 2021. Hopefully we'll celebrate together next year. Congratulations again to all of our Florida PTA award winners.